In this video help, I'm going to talk to you about the Trail Web Sites. Let's go ahead and go there. The Trail Web Sites, uh, I want to start out by giving you a tip on how to use the grid. I mentioned this in the uh, first screen on how to move these screens. If you click in a column, you'll see this little arrow. This arrow allows you to sort the entire grid by that column, putting everything in alphabetical order. You can see in this case, there was one in there that had a question mark on either side. Uh, another tip is, is when you type in the actual first field and in a new record in the grid, when you're adding a new record, do not come back and change this first field. This is used as a key field in the relationship. And if you change it, it messes up the, the uh, grid. The second thing is, is when you're looking at columns, you can, if you put your finger on this part right here on the uh, iPad or iPhone or Android, you can move the column. So if you have data that is beyond the view of the column, you can go ahead and just move this over. And you'll notice when it goes out of sight, you can take this slider at the bottom and slide back over to see the extended portion of the screen. So in order to put it back, so you can see the index numbers if you need to, you can just click back on it, hold, and then move it back over again. Let's talk about this grid. Uh, we call this the Hiker Biker website screen. And what these are are websites where there are different videos and things that you can add to it or and or website for information. For example, if I come down here and I want to take a look at a website like Google Map uh, Maker, this is a really interesting site where you can actually change or uh, amend Google Sites. And we'll just click on it just to give you an idea how it works. When you click on this and say, find the record, it'll open up and you won't see anything until you hit the web, uh, the load website. Go ahead and drop your keyboard out of the way and then click on the load website. And it'll show the website that you picked. Now you can add as many websites as you like. And in this particular case, MapMaker is a very interesting website where it allows you to add your own trails or own information uh, that is related to trails on a map. And the way you can do this is explained in this website. To get back to the main screen, tap on the Trails Web button, which will bring you back into this, this screen. You can see the last uh, screen you were viewing. Uh, I wanted to point out that these are uh, different videos from YouTube at the very top of this. If you wanted to see those videos, just go ahead and click on the uh, this link and say, go ahead and find that record, and then it'll open up YouTube and actually run that video. Uh, I won't run it now because it'll, it messes up my screen by overwriting it with or putting things on top. But I wanted to let you know that you can also create your own YouTube videos and then place them in here by using the URL from the top of the video on YouTube and then placing your comment about what the name of that video is. So if you do a hike and you want to have some uh, live video, this is where you would put it in this website area. Uh, if you need to delete a video as before or add a new video, you use the add. By, uh, you don't even have to highlight the column, but just click add. It'll put the next record in for the next column and the next row. If you want to delete it, it'll delete it by highlighting the record you want to delete and then click delete. It'll bring up a uh, dismiss the uh, record button telling you if you click it, it will uh, delete the record. As soon as you do that, it'll return to the grid and that record will be gone. If you have any questions, as always, about how to use these uh, applications, you can always go to the first screen and click on the support site. And what that'll do is take you to my main support site where you can uh, find uh, how to ask questions or use email or use the uh, uh, contact us within the website to ask questions on the usage of this application. Thank you.